Hello and welcome to Michu Dev's new video. So today we're gonna make a simple thunder bright effect or what we can call this one. So yeah, uh, I really hope you enjoy this video. And uh, before, remember if you like this, thumb it up, subscribe or whatever you like, comment. So maybe I'm gonna make more awesome tutorials or maybe it's not awesome, but for me, I, yeah, I'm happy with it. Hello and welcome! So today we're gonna make a thunder effect. This is gonna be a, yeah, a small and fast tutorial. I really hope it's gonna be pretty fast. Uh, so we start right away. So the first we're gonna start is a canvas. So you click on UI, then you create a canvas. And in this canvas, you just need to create an image. So UI and image. And I'm gonna name this uh, maybe Thunder Brightness. Yeah, something like that. Or Thunder Lightning. Or, <laughs> yeah, you can name it whatever. As, but I name Thunder Brightness. And uh, we need to make this fit the resolution. So you click on this one, then Shift, Alt, and on the four arrows. Now it's really, really bright, but we're gonna click on the color. Then on alpha, we're going to zero. So, okay, now when you have created a canvas and an image, uh, we're gonna start with the scripting. Uh, so we create a C sharp script. Come on, C sharp. I'm gonna maybe name this Thunder uh, Controller. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna clean here a little bit. I'm gonna do like that. So first I'm gonna write down all the code. After that I'm gonna explain a little bit fast what everything is doing. So I'm trying to make this uh, quite fast tutorial. So yeah, we start with uh, unit engine UI. So you know we can open up the UI elements like image and everything. So we first I'm gonna start an image and uh, this maybe I call Thunder Brightness image. Uh, then I'm gonna start a float Thunder timer. Maybe I call this one. Uh, then I need a a private color and this I yeah I call it new color and then we need a more float and this one is bright bright color and then we need a light so we can uh, play around with the light and this maybe I call thunder light and the next, wait a minute, I need to think a little bit fast. I need a timer and a bool. Uh, so private float timer. And the last, if I remember, that, yeah, uh, we create the bool. I call it is thunder. And uh, First, we need to make on the start the new color. Uh, we want the image color start with zero uh, with the alpha. So we're gonna do like this. New color equal to thunder brightness uh, color. Then new color to a equal to zero. Then we need to make the image color to the new color. So now the image gonna start with zero with the alpha. So you cannot see the image when you start a game. Uh, and the timer, uh, I'm gonna write one. Uh, I'm gonna tell later why. Uh, but maybe when you see this, maybe you're gonna understand why. <laughs> 
so okay we gonna start with the thunder timer uh, the thunder timer I gonna write this first thunder thunder timer um, minus the time delta time so okay thunder timer it's gonna be the timer that's uh, gonna be random so example every time the thunder timer is zero we want the effect start so we're gonna do it like this if thunder timer is zero or lower of course uh, the bool is gonna be true so when the thunder timer is zero we want the bool to be true and uh, we always want the timer be one and uh, the, 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 the bright bright color want to be with the timer do, do, do. let me see here dear dear and of course uh, I want the thunder no 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 the uh, thunder light in <laughs> intensity be with the timer too of course like that we're gonna do like that okay now we're gonna do when the thunder is true so if is thunder doo -doo, timer gonna be minus to time dot del uh, yeah exactly <laughs> time dot delta time multiply with two uh, i make you can change this i just make it double uh with the time so it's going down very more faster mm -mm -mm. then we're gonna make uh, thunder light in ten intensity oh my god intensity to timer then bright color uh, we want with the timer and uh, then we want the new color alpha be with the bright color like that so when the new yeah when the timer is changing like here maybe i need to do like this maybe it's easier for you to see so when the timer is zero we're going down to zero everything like the intensity going uh, to be zero and the bright color going to be the zero so it's mean it's gonna be darker uh, okay where were we so new color and bright color du -du -du. and uh, yeah the thunder brightness image color gonna be with the new color again so the image can change okay so now is this finished so okay now we're gonna make uh, the if bright color is gonna be zero like this uh, we want the thunder timer uh, random between now this is just some random uh, this is the timer that's gonna be when the thunder effects gonna happen now I am gonna take very low uh, numbers because I want the time be very very fast so I choose between two to five you can choose anything here but i'm gonna take two to five on the number and uh, then after this we want the thunder to be false and of course remember 
we need a return here because when everything this is thunder is happening we don't want this to happen because it's gonna be crazy and buggy of course so we make a return there so we're gonna try this script i'm not sure if everything is working so we need to try this first so okay we're gonna make this work now we're gonna try the script and uh so drag the thunder controller maybe to the main camera or any place you want that feels good for you and uh, then you take the thunder brightness uh, to the image and uh, the lightning you take it down there and this thunder timer if you want you can uh, write any numbers so it's the time it's gonna start i click the first gonna be two seconds so let's test the script if it's an error or something no error and it's working and uh, we're gonna look on the timer here if you look on the thunder timer uh yeah it's randomized every time so yeah it's uh, working but uh, we need some sound yeah uh, so go back to the script and uh, to, 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 we need to create maybe we can go down here and make a public audio clip and uh, maybe we want two sounds so you can make maybe a thunder sound and uh, then we go down we can go down here and uh, we need the component of the audio source oh so get component audio source like that and uh, we want to play the sound and the easiest uh, the easiest one is to use the play one shot and uh, here which clip we want to use and uh, we did name it thunder sound and uh, of course we did make multiply sound so we need to i'm gonna make random range uh, random range between zero to two so we can hear the both sound sometimes and uh, this is the sound is if it's gonna be higher or lower so here i'm gonna make a random range and uh, maybe uh, between uh, four to eight in the float like this oh no so okay now everything should work here so let's test the sounds do do we go back to unity and look on the script we got thunder sound and here we write two sounds now i got thunder two and thunder for, uh, four there so let's test this one so okay everything is working it's a quite basic tutorial but i hope you can use it maybe in your game or maybe you want to share it to someone that really needs this one. and uh, of course uh, if you want you can subscribe uh, and if you like this kind of tutorials you can like and thumb it up because in the future i'm gonna make more tutorials and uh, try to improve my tutorials really really much so yes uh, remember subscribe and comment or anything that's uh, make me really happy <laughs> have a great day